We are all interconnected in a quantum field of consciousness. What this means is that essentially every human being is both an energetic transmitter and receiver. So we are capable of both transmitting energy to other people in a way that they would consciously be able to sense and pick up on. But simultaneously, we are also capable of receiving energy from absolutely anyone or anything in the universe. So the idea of telepathy is actually real. It is automatic, but it is mostly subconscious. However, there are certain signs, certain tells, if you will, when you are receiving this subconscious telepathic information from another specific person and if you know how to look for these signs and how to discern them then you can actually become psychic in the sense that you are able to more consciously read the energetic signals and signs that you are getting from other individuals. So in this specific podcast video, we are going to be discussing signs that someone is thinking about you or feeling very strongly about you, but in a romantic context. So we could also say that these are signs someone is manifesting you. However, keep in mind that everything we attract into our lives is a manifestation. Technically speaking, whether we attracted it in subconsciously or consciously, in the majority of cases, I would say even 99% or more of cases, we are manifesting completely subconsciously. So if you are thinking about a specific person in connection with this podcast video that you feel might be manifesting you, don't be deterred by the fact that this person may not be familiar with the idea of manifestation. They may not consciously know how to necessarily manifest things into existence, yet they might still be manifesting you in the sense that the energy they are transmitting to you is so strong that it actually has the power to attract you or to make you feel as though you are being attracted into this person's life. So welcome to the channel. For those of you who are new here, before we get into the signs, I do want to introduce myself. My name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. And really, the law of attraction is what we are talking about in this video on signs that someone is manifesting you or thinking about you romantically because it's via the law of attraction, the governing law of our universe, that everything is drawn into our lives, including the people that we connect with on a daily basis. You could say that every single person we meet, we've actually met first in consciousness. Whether we realize it or not, we and that person are offering sympathetic vibrations to a close enough degree that we are able to experience some form of physical contact, communication, or interaction with those individuals. In fact, most of our interactions with others are not physical at all. They are completely telepathic or subconscious, or we could say energetic in nature. Some researchers will 
point to this as being just simply body language or tone of voice, but the energetic communication we experience with others goes so much deeper than anything that we can literally quantify or categorize. It is in a sense, quite literally telepathic something that someone might refer to as a vibe that they get from a person even when they've only just met them or sometimes even when you haven't met someone but you hear a friend talking about a person you can read the energy off of that person simply by hearing about them. This is because again, we are constantly meeting and interacting with other souls in this quantum field of collective consciousness, which is really just the web of consciousness that ties all of humanity together. So the number one sign that someone is manifesting you, especially if it's in a romantic context, is that you find yourself wondering about them or getting curious about them. Now, I am very intentionally using these words, wonder and curiosity, because they are relatively light words. And the reason that this is such an interesting distinction is because if you have pre-existing very strong feelings about a person romantically that are coming from within yourself, it's usually much stronger than this pure kind of wonder or curiosity, those light feelings of, I wonder who this person is, or I wonder how they're doing. And sometimes those pre-existing feelings can make it a bit confusing as to whether someone is sending that energy to you and you are receiving it or whether you are simply hearing, in a sense, your own thoughts and feelings. In fact, I would say this is the number one blockage that people have to being able to become more telepathic is how do I discern what is actually coming from my own mind and my own energetic field and what is coming externally from some external person or situation. And of course, we could talk about this in many other podcast videos, but one way to become clearer on what is yours and what is others, and therefore to become more consciously telepathic is through inner work. And of course, inner work is a huge umbrella term that we could use to describe any activity, ritual, thing that you are doing to help you become more consciously cognizant of your own inner world, more consciously connected with what kinds of internal dialogue are taking place within you, how you're thinking and feeling about yourself and others, so on and so forth. So of course, this is something that has to be practiced over time, but most of you who are drawn to this kind of content and material have been on this deep inner journey of self-reflection, of introspection, of healing on a really deep level, and therefore you are already someone who is very self-aware, more than likely, someone who tends to be very familiar with their inner world. So in that sense, it will already give you a leg up in being able to telepathically sense what communication you're receiving from others because you will be one who is more adept than most at distinguishing when something is coming from one of your own internal patterns or something that you tend to speak to yourself internally and what might be coming externally from someone else. So that was just an important distinction to make here, but continuing on with this first sign. So when you begin to out of the blue wonder, let's say how someone from your past is doing someone that, you know, that you may have not spoken to in a while. This can be an indication that this is a person who is placing themselves in connection with you in this quantum field, in this collective web of consciousness through 
thinking about you or wondering about you. Now I do have to elaborate a little bit on how you can tell more specifically whether or not these feelings really are romantic in nature because of course you could be telepathically picking up that someone is just thinking about you a lot and wondering about you a lot, but they may not necessarily be thinking about you romantically. But if when you wonder about this person or think about this person, you find those thoughts that pop into your head have kind of a romantic charge to them. So you might be wondering who they're dating, how their current relationships are going. You might even find that images pop into your mind of you dating that person or being romantic with that person in some way. You might think of these as being intrusive thoughts, just sudden intrusive thoughts. And in a sense, you could say that they are, but where they're intruding from could very well be this other person's mind where they are telepathically sending out this signal of thinking about or wondering about being with you romantically. And you are actually picking up on those signals So the second sign that someone is manifesting you or thinking about you in a romantic way is that you might experience what we refer to as phantom touches. I believe I have an entire separate video from possibly two years ago specifically on phantom touches. So you can go explore that if you're interested in the topic more specifically, but in essence, a phantom touch is a form of telepathic communication that occurs through the physical body. Yes, most people don't realize that we are interpreting energy through all of our physical senses. Therefore, telepathy or energy that we consciously interpret that's coming from others doesn't exclude itself to the mental realm, to thinking of something that someone is thinking or saying, or even thinking of images or scenes, romantic scenes, for example, that someone is imagining or daydreaming with us. Telepathy can actually extend to all of the physical senses. So when someone is, for example, in this romantic context, thinking of being with us romantically, in some kind of physically affectionate way, and they are heavily dwelling on this, we might receive that energetic signal through strange sensations in our own physical body. For example, you could feel as though someone is touching your arm, or you might suddenly have the feeling that someone is standing beside you, that someone has their arms wrapped around you, that there's like this warm kind of loving presence in the room with you in some kind of a physical way. Again, this can be a sign that someone is putting themselves either intentionally or unintentionally in communication, in connection with us through their heavy thoughts and daydreams about us. The third sign that someone is manifesting you, especially in a romantic sense, is that, and this is probably the most complicated one, that you begin to develop sudden and spontaneous and perhaps really illogical romantic feelings for this person. Now, again, it can be difficult to distinguish whether these romantic feelings are originating from within you or whether they are coming from the other person. But one way to tell is that almost like a spell, the romantic feelings you have do not feel consistent, but tend to wear off. Almost like someone has cast a little bit of a spell on you and then it starts to wear off in its effect. And then it might come back over you and then seem to wear off again. And in those periods of time where the so-called spell wears off, you might actually start to feel 
feelings of apathy towards this person. Or for example, if you were disinterested in them before, you might be suddenly repulsed by the thought that you had romantic attraction to them. Or you might be wondering, where was that even coming from? Was I out of my mind for feeling this romantic connection or attraction to this person. Now, of course, if you return the feelings, if the feelings are mutual, this can be more difficult to sort out because you would still have those consistent lingering feelings that are originating from within you, even when that person is not in the moment actively sending you energy But one way that you could still tell, even if you have these mutual feelings, is that you might have periods of time where for, for example, an hour or a few minutes, the feelings suddenly seem to become much stronger and much more intense, completely out of nowhere. So you might be doing something very mundane, like cleaning your living space or reading or something completely unrelated to the person. And even if you've had feelings for them beneath the surface, it's almost like suddenly you get hit with these intensified romantic feelings that seem to come completely out of the blue. The spontaneous nature of those sudden feelings could mean that in that moment, you are actually picking up on new active romantic thoughts and feelings that that person is externally sending to you. So if these signs are connecting with you in some way, there is a very good probability that you are being romantically manifested in some sense by the person in question here. And do let me know in the comments whether anything here connected with you and whether you would like more information on this topic or other topics. You guys who are regulars on my channel know that I tend to do reading videos on this channel. I do collective energy updates and tarot readings, but I also want to get back into doing more of these podcast style videos. So if my energy is resonating with you and you would like to stay connected here with our beautiful soul tribe on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at magnetize yourself, where I post more inspiration, energy updates, and information. I also want to share with you that I've recently created and launched a subliminals app that is now available in both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. I am so excited to share this app with all of you. It's been such a huge passion project for me because subliminals have completely transformed my life over the last several years. I started meditating with them consistently about seven years ago now. And in the time since, I have seen absolute 180 degree transformations in essentially every area of my life. I've been able to manifest so many of my dreams and goals through utilizing, tapping into the subconscious power of my own mind with subliminal meditation. And for those of you who aren't necessarily super familiar with subliminals, they are basically affirmations that are embedded within other sounds, tones, and frequencies. And the purpose of this is to bypass the conscious filter of your mind and to basically hack your own brain. It's kind of a backdoor to manifestation because these affirmations get programmed into your subconscious mind. And of course, as we all know, research has shown it's actually the subconscious that controls 95% of our actions and outcome in life. So this is an amazing way to fast track your manifestations, to transform your aura and your energy. And as you can see on the screen on my app, Sound and Soulful, I have created over 130 subliminals for all different areas of life. 
When you sign up for a seven day free trial account, you can create your own custom private playlists. You can listen to any subliminal and 10 different background sounds, and you can even read the affirmations while you are listening. Specifically in this video, I would most highly recommend my subliminal for love magnetism. This is one I personally use every single day and it's designed to clear out your energetic field to release any blockages you might be storing around love and connection. And this will allow you to effortlessly manifest, attract, and magnetize more love, positive attention, and positive interaction in your life. It can be used to manifest a deeper connection with a specific person, but it can also be used to simply attract more love, more positive interaction of all kinds into your life experience. So the link to download and try out my app for free is in the pinned comment and description box underneath the video. Thank you so much again for tuning in to today's podcast. I hope you have a magical remainder of your day and I will connect with you here again in the next video.